Okay, so in order to test the clutch on these, basically. If you can hold it with your hand fairly easily, the clutch is gone. Uh, basically, the agitator has to come out, tra transmission has to come out, and the clutch needs to be replaced. Sometimes you can re yeah, clean the clutch and belt and stretch the spring to make them <coughs> to make them work. Okay, I got the agitator out. And this one actually has a kind of a square kind of thing. Maybe you can put an extension on your ratchet and get it down there. Stick a couple of screwdrivers down there and turn that thing. Um, this one actually needs to have... Uh, well, I guess... I think the agitator dogs need to be replaced. The dogs are inside here. These dogs here, these little swivelly things. Uh, at least we could clean them up. Sometimes you can clean these up with a hacksaw, put, a cut, put some edges on them, and they'll grab better. Or you can just buy a dog kit. Um, this one actually had this uh, long screw. Some of them are like this. Some of them are a lot easier. This one, so you have to have a long extension to get down there to grab that. That's the key for that, for that agitator. And we can go on the bottom and then pull the train. Okay, here's the part where I should have put the gloves on, but I never do. Because I know you love it! Um, people are always commenting about how clean my hands are. Uh, and so I just want to give you something to talk about. So we've got the clutch. And once you get the transmission loose, go in here, grab it with the pliers, compress it, and you can pull it out. And you see this one's like pretty greased up. I think we can clean this up with some uh, brake cleaner. And then here's the tension spring that goes in between there. We can stretch this spring out and then make sure that this bell in here is all cleaned out. There's no grease in there as well. And I may just rough it up a little bit once I get it clean with some steel wool. And it should be good. Okay, there it is. It's pretty clean now. Um, I'm still going to rough it up with this. I may put some etchings going up and down here on this. I've already cleaned this clutch out really good. I've also put etchings on it. Basically, you just scratch the bell a little bit so it has something to grab onto in there um, and make sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to stretch the spring out. So basically what I do is I take like two vice grips, one on this end and one on the other end, and pull it apart so it spreads out it's like a quarter of an inch wider. And then put it back together and it should be good. Assemble in reverse order. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Right, well, that's your Kim Moore tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347, and ask about my how to make money in the appliance repair business videos and training course.